The latest James Bond movie, No Time to Die, comes out on Friday. It is the last one with Daniel Craig as 007. Movie theaters are looking forward to its release as one of the first major blockbusters since the reopening. For more on how business has been and how Daniel Craig Bond era stands up and who might be the next James Bond, joining us now is Derek Zimrak. He's the owner and operator of the Arenda Theater and a friend of the program. Uh, good morning, Derek. Good morning. Thank you, Frank. Good to, good to be here. All right. You got all dolled up, too. I love it. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of a little James Bond look, I guess, you know, try at least. You need the martini, right? Oh, Come wait on, a minute. Frank, you know me better oh, than that. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, uh, first and foremost, let's uh, just ask you, how is the Arena Theater holding up? I know patrons are back. There are some restrictions, but how are you doing as a business? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing okay. I mean, just like most movie theaters. And in Contra Costa County last week actually, you know, implemented, you had to check vaccine cards. And that kind of slowed us back a little bit. But you know what? We've been on this fight for a year and a half, and we're not stopping. So, <laughs> Well, you go. It's, of course, my childhood theater growing up there in Arenda. Um, do you need a blockbuster? Is the bomb movie coming out at just the right time to kind of be a savior? Yeah, because uh, Shang-Chi and the... Um, Legend of the Ten Rings came out, you know, four weeks ago, and actually it's the first movie to hit over 200 million at the box office nationally. So that was a great turnout. So you know, you're rolling away from that. Now you're going into Bond. So it should be, it should be help us all. Well, let's go back on Bond. Skyfall and Spectre were uh, both huge hits in 2012 and 2015, taking in well over 100 million that first week. Uh, what do you think? You've seen the movie. What do you think? Yeah. I I have seen the movie. I saw the movie at a press screening this week. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's probably one of the best that I have seen in a long time. Um, the cinematography is amazing. It has all the action that you want. And, you know, Daniel Craig is, is fantastic. You know, Rami Malek as the villain right there. Oh, He's there absolutely go. wonderful. It, it's exactly what you want in a Bond movie. And it is two hours and 47 seven minutes so you you know get your popcorn and all your goodies before you go in there because you're not going to want to leave it keeps you on the edge of your seat for that whole entire time and it does not feel like it's as long as it is so that's a good sign I, and it's I, always good when the pre oh oh no, i didn't mean to interrupt yes. i'm just gonna i'm a huge bond fan so i will definitely be <laughs> uh front center this is craig's uh, fifth and final installment as 007 where where does he rank in term terms of bondum with sean connery <laughs> roger moore and the rest of the lot. Yeah, I think there's a lot of controversy in that. Everyone has their different opinions on it. You know, Sean Connery's a definitely a favorite. You know, during the Roger Moore phase, it was kind of more campy. So you had to kind of like those films. And then everyone's really happy with uh, Daniel Craig. So it's kind of a toss up, I think, between uh, Sean Connery and uh, Daniel Craig. But I think this movie, the way the script is, the way they shot it, is more of a montage to the uh sean connery films where i think it's a little bit uh a little bit more to that genre so it, it's entertaining and the producers have been sitting on this film for a while because it was done yes. i think before the pandemic and they thought oh wait a minute we spent a lot of money we want to get this out when people can actually go to a right. theater right yes i think that's exactly what it was and actually at the press screening uh daniel craig actually sent in a video and he welcomed all the press and said, you know, we're, we're really happy that you can finally see it. You're one of the first in the world to see it. And it's actually where it's supposed to be in movie theaters. And that's exactly where it needs to be. And, you know, please come out and see the movie and support the theaters and enjoy a fantastic film. Yeah, the, I'm not going to tell you any spoilers, but there are several. So if you do see the movie, don't tell people the spoilers, okay? Uh, that's right. a bad thing. <laughs> Your secret's safe with us. Uh, yeah, you got to watch it on the big screen. But all the explosions and all the good stuff. Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, just to get a feel, what, uh, who do you think the next James Bond would be? I don't know. It, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I don't want to say too much because there are some things in there that lead to that, oh. and I don't want to sway anybody in any way. So. Oh, all right. That's what you call a tease. That's yeah. good stuff. Uh, what, yeah, exactly. Well, let's give you a plug. What's playing at Arinda? And we saw your billboard. What? Uh, October 007th, is that when it comes in? Yeah, exactly. That, that's when we're actually doing our pre-screening, which is Thursday night. We have a great uh, lineup at 6 o'clock. We actually have the people that organize the Arinda Jazz Festival, which is going on today. They're going to be singing live, <clears throat> you know, Bond music for an hour out front under our marquee, the lights. Then we actually have a lot of Bond special drinks all night long. And we actually have 
two uh, Austin Martin cars out front. So oh, it's going to be a nice party. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So you, you rolled out the red carpet. All right. And that's yeah, we, we Wednesday tried. Night? What night is that again? Uh, that's thir Thursday, Thursday night. 007, October 7. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> well, Derek Zimrick, uh, always a pleasure. All the best at the Arenda Theater. And uh, go Thank Bond. You. I hope you get a lot of people there R on Thursday. Right. And remember, always stirred, never shaken. Correct. Well done. And I'm sure there's a martini <laughs> in the latest uh, Bond as well. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate it.